So our jargon today is cognitive skills. Um, and it'll all make sense to you in just a moment. So our, uh, Let's take a look at our actual definition for cognitive skills. Cognitive skills are skills that allow an individual to understand their own mental states and the mental states of others, right? Uh, all right, as jargon goes, this is not the most difficult thing to access, but let's go ahead and take it another level down uh, and take a look at what our working definition for cognitive skills is. Cognitive skills are understanding concepts such as thoughts, desires, beliefs, and emotions, both in yourself and in others. So one of the things that we work on when we work on cognitive skills with individuals who are on the autism spectrum is what does it mean to think? What does it mean to feel? What does it mean to believe something? Because believing something is different than knowing something, right? Um, like I believed that our jargon term for today was executive functions, but that was not the truth. Uh, no, it works out perfect. Kelby's like, oh, my bad. No, but it works out perfect because sometimes we think something is going to be something, but it ends up being something else, right? Um, so, and it's important for us to take perspective on what we're thinking and what other people are thinking. This is an area of deficit for individuals who are on the autism spectrum. That they, um, there is a period of time in development when children will begin to realize that what they think and what they, later on it comes what they feel and what they believe um, are different from what other people think, feel, and believe. But for our kids who are on the autism spectrum, sometimes that doesn't happen without a great deal of intervention. The good news is, is that intervention can help that. We call that perspective taking, right? And we've talked before on the show about the Sally Ann test, um, that this was a huge breakthrough in the field of autism because they took three separate groups, neurotypical kids, kids who had Down syndrome, and kids who were on the autism spectrum, and they gave them a test to see if they could take information, consider somebody's point of view, and make decisions about it. And they were young kids. They found that the kids who were neurotypical could do it. The kids who had Down syndrome could do it. But the kids who were on the autism spectrum were almost exclusively were not able to do it. And that keyed us all into maybe this is one of the puzzle pieces that is missing with autism. We find that when we teach these skills to an individual on the autism spectrum, that their ability to interact socially, their ability to make and keep friends goes up exponentially. Um, you know, I love when we have Dr. Doreen Grandpache on the show and she talks about the key to almost anything, world peace, happiness between two partners, uh, business partners or romantic partners, all comes down to both people's ability to take the other's perspective. So I think that cognitive skills uh, are essential in every area of our lives. There, it's a great area in which we can get to that progress that we want to see. There are so many different lessons about all those things, thinking, believing, understanding sarcasm, because to understand sarcasm, you have to be able to take perspective, right? Um, and there are some very ethereal ideas, like what is a thought? You can't quite get your fingers on it, right? But we can explain these things to individuals on the autism spectrum. In fact, there's a great curriculum, the cognition curriculum in skills. Uh, that's what we use with my son and it's a powerful, powerful tool. So cognitive skills, don't overlook them. They're great for all of us, but in particular for our kids who are on the autism spectrum. That's our jargon for the day.